Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. Here's the next question. And this is from Robert. One, where I live, if you're interested in the spiritual world, afterlife and so on, you will find out that there is no one heaven and one hell. There are multiple heavens. Before we are born, we came here from one of these heavens. And after we die, according to how we lived our life, we go to a lower one. Or a higher one. Not because someone judges us and sends us there. It has more to do with our ability. What I find to be a good analogy is the hot air balloon. The sandbags represent low frequencies and hot air represents high frequencies. If we hold on to the sandbags, then the balloon will fly lower. If we throw the if we throw them away and put hot air in the balloon, then we'll fly higher. Similar to that, if we raise our frequency, then we will be able to fly in a higher heaven. How come so many people believe this? Some of them have the ability to astral travel. You say that after death worlds are experienced according to what our culture tells us. But this is not what culture tells us. I live in an orthodox country and culture tells us there is one heaven and one hell. This is what people see when they travel there. Could you please explain why people share similar experiences in their travels, even though they were not taught by their cultural education to think that way? 2. Could you please tell us what you mean by physical body elemental? If we see the physical body as a cluster of cells, then the body is something that changes constantly. Our body is not the same one that we had when we were born. Biologists say that it takes seven years for all the cells in the body to get replaced by new ones. So in this sense, we have a 100% different body to the one we had seven years ago. That is an What is an elemental? What is the physical body one? How does our body reincarnate? I know you already explained this, but it's not clear to me. 3. The answer to the previous question might partially explain this question. We're taught that animals, plants and minerals have a soul in the same way humans have souls. What do you mean by animals don't have souls? They are souls. What happens to them when they die? Do they exist in the astral plane? Some people say they see animals there, but they look different to what they looked here. I must admit that hearing you see a cat doesn't have a soul has a big surprise to me. Bigger than death has, was standing by the side of my bed. The second one seems more easy to understand. 4. Could you please explain more about the affirmations below? To me, it seems that they contradict each other. Quote, now where our humanoid species on this planet as well as other planets were here before we took some of them and took them so that they could house the more subtle beings, our soul constructs, constructs. In the more solid beings, the physical body elementals, they cannot say what I can say is, I cannot say. What I can say is that the humanoid forms that we call human bodies did exist here on this planet and in other planets without soul constructs inserted into them, without the more solid beings cohabiting with them and that some of them were tweaked and changed in order to house the other, more subtle physical body we call the soul. I don't see how the last one contradicts each other, but I'm going to start with your first question and then work our way down. Okay, Robert? So the first one is about how I think that what you're saying is that in the class it says that your experience of the afterlife is dictated by your programs, your culture, and your society. And you were mentioning here that within your own culture there, there is a contradiction between what the culture teaches you and what people have been experiences in the afterlife. Okay, so th for the first part, just that bit, um, the experience that you have can be what your culture teaches you, your society teaches you, or the programs that you are running inside of yourself, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that they are all are going to be together. So, for example, if your culture teaches you that there are ten hells and ten heavens, but when you die, you only see one, it means that you carry a program that shows you that there's only one, okay? What I have seen is that there are multiple creations and if it doesn't fit into, a person doesn't fit into one of those collective creations, they will usually create a new one that fits into what they believe is going to happen to them when they die. So 
maybe um, go through the class again and have a look see that it's not talking about absolutes with regards to culture and society right it's actually talking about the things that you carry and the beliefs that you carry that's what's going to dictate your life and this is not just true for when you die but it's actually also true while you're alive the experience that you have here on this planet is actually dictated by what you believe is true real and possible and also impossible so have a look see you will see that this is actually not a full understanding of what I was explaining in the class so I hope that this further explanation um, clarifies, that, clarifies that for you all right so number two or oh, part of that also um, talked about the sandbags and releasing some of the heavy stuff so it goes higher um, that is actually um, true here for you as well the more negative bundles of energy that you release for example fear or other low frequency emotions and uh, thoughts and all that type of stuff that you release the more uh, the higher your natural frequency will be able to go and um, also the more expanded your awareness is going to become all right, the second question had to do with the physical body elemental. And the physical body elemental is not the atoms that it carries. It's not the cells, okay? What keeps the physical body elemental in integral, like in one piece, so that your cheek, for example, doesn't turn into air, right, at a... At a atomic level you don't dissolve into the air you stay in one piece as a body is the physical body elemental and one could say that the physical body elemental is like a soul but more solid it can ex it expresses in the physical universe imagine this imagine a species that wasn't able to live in the physical world because they couldn't express themselves physically like a solid matter thing they found um, vessels to be able to have an experience that is in the physical body and those vessels were creatures that were able to express in a physical dimension so those physical bodies were um, those people those creatures were tweaked to be able to house us the soul and we have a joint experience now. So that's why people know that they're not their physical body. A physical body doesn't know it's not, it's not its physical body because it is the physical body. With regards to cats and dogs, they are creatures that can express at a physical level, at a solid level. So if you can, that's why I mentioned it's like a soul that is more physical, it's more solid, right? That way, it, they haven't been tweaked to house a different being inside of them which we call the soul so they are their own, own selves and integral integral and their intelligence their beingness their memories yes when their cells and their atoms dissolve and decay the entity the the intelligence that is them can and does express itself uh, within the astral dimension and will express itself again at a physical level but that's a capacity that they have and our physical body have but the soul within us the, the person that we call ourselves doesn't have that capacity that's why bodies were tweaked in order to house um, a more subtle body which is the soul so we can have a physical expression experience all right so um, that's the second um, answer and the third answer okay and the fourth answer is about the two you say there's two affirmations below and you feel that they contradict each other now I'm going to read them again because I don't see them contradicting each other so I'm trying to understand why you say a contradiction here 
It says now, where there are humanoid species on this planet, as well as other planets, we were here before we took some of them and tweaked them so that they would have a more subtle being, our soul contract. constructs. In more solid beings, the physical body elementals, that I cannot say. What I can say is that the humanoid forms that we call human bodies did exist here on this planet and in other planets without soul constructs inserted into them, without the more solid beings cohabiting with them. And that some of them were tweaked and changed in order to house the more solid physical body that we call the soul. I don't see how that contradicts. It's just linear, right? So there's physical bodies here on this planet and in other planets, right? That which call which we can call human bodies. Some of them were tweaked, right, on this planet and in other planets to house a more subtle being, which we call the soul. And I don't know where the contradiction is. Um, there are human physical bodies here on this planet which have been tweaked, right? But that's a different species we don't call them humans right at the moment um within i mentioned them in the class um in the ones that i know about are called sasquatch or we call them sasquatch and um they're basically the human body elementals without having been tweaked to house another being called the soul right so i hope that um these explanations um clarify your questions and um, I will see you next time. The information in this video relates to my class, Death, the Unspoken Truth. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken.